Hey everyone, it's Nicole here today for Lawn Fawn and I'm so excited to share this scalloped treat box add-on. This is the dog house add-on. I am so excited about this. I love that Lawn Fawn is coming out with add-ons for some of their awesome staple dyes. This just extends the life of products that we already have on hand. And this little treat box is so cute. I think it would be fantastic if you um, used it to maybe put some little treats or something small in um, for a new pet owner. Um, it does not have to be for a pet. This could be just something cute that you do as party favors, put little gifts in for birthdays, whatever it might be. I just love it. Now I did my die cutting off camera to save time today. The treat box is going to take two panels. I like to score them before I put them together. I use a bone folder to do this. I also pre-die cut all the components from the treat box doghouse add-on. And I did this from chili pepper cardstock and then inked the edges with black soot distress oxide ink. This still gives the look of a red doghouse. It just kind of rich, makes it a little bit more rich, I guess, in color, kind of distresses it. I love distress. Um, so I went ahead and did that. Now I really can't tell you if this is the correct way to put this together or not. I'm gonna tell you what I did. There are two different panels. There's a panel that cuts a score or creates a score line, and then there is a solid panel for both the long sides and the short sides of the box. What I did was start at the bottom with that smaller little scored panel up near the top, and I used it as a guide to put the shingles on my doghouse. Um, for me, or the siding on the doghouse. For me, this was a good guide. It ended up working perfectly. So um, let's just say that's how it's supposed to go. I'm sure you could score them as well and add them to your doghouse. I've seen it done both ways. Um, this is just how I did it. Like I said, no idea if that's the right way or not, um, but it ended up working out cute. Look how great the sides look. I love that Lawn Fawn did the sides of the house too. Not just the long front and back, but the sides. So if you wanna decorate all the way around, you totally could and it would be fantastic. I'm attaching everything with score tape. I have found that it really works the best for me or another strong adhesive. Um, I try to avoid liquid adhesive if at all possible, just because I think it's messy, but the score tape is strong and it's going to put together your box great. Now, while my two panels for the box are flat, I'm going to go ahead and embellish it now. It is much, much easier to embellish anything like this when it's still flat. Um, 3D projects, if you can embellish them flat, I highly recommend it because it's so much easier. My dog is die cut from paper bag cardstock. The bones, including the bone tag, how cute is that, is die cut from vanilla malt cardstock. And I'm using antique linen distress oxide ink to just ink the edges of it a little bit here. The dog dish that I'm using is die cut from some silver, frosted silver, I believe it's called, cardstock. So it's gonna have like a silver sheen to it. And I'm gonna tuck that smallest bone into the dog dish and then glue that down. The dog I'm going to ink up with gathered twigs distress oxide ink. And I'm trying to find the best place for this bone. I really thought I might not even use it. Um, I think it would be cute up above the door, but for me, it just felt like there was way too much going on on the front of my card. And I ended up using it as an embellishment on the dog, back of the doghouse. You'll see that in a little bit. And I think it worked really well. Um, but you can use that wherever you want to use it. So the dog I'm going to ink up with Gathered Twigs Distress Oxide ink. There are lots of great ways to do this. This was a very quick and easy way. Um, I think it would be amazing to die cut from white cardstock and color in with Copics. And you could make this little dog all kinds of different colors and really customize it if you wanted to. I die cut the dog again from black licorice and I'm going to inlay his eyes and nose with black licorice and then adorn him with some little white dots for his cheeks and on his back. Now he was a little bit trickier to add so I used glue dots to glue him down. 
Um, score tape really wasn't going to work probably the best there. And then the bow, because I or for her, because I needed a her, I'm putting a bow in her hair. Um, the little bow die I die cut from some pink glitter cardstock, and I'm gluing in place with gloss or Ranger Multi Matte Medium rather. And I use tweezers to hold that down in place because remember our box is still flat until I get everything right where it's gonna go. Now I'm just using my Spellbinders tool in one to grab the eyes and nose. They're really teeny tiny. And just, you can use a jewel picker or another tool, a quick stick tool, something like that to put everything where it goes. Now the eye accidentally went underneath the dog die cut. So I'm gonna have to kind of pick that up. This is what I'm doing right here, trying to fix this um, and get his eye back where it's gonna go. I was using the tip of the tool in one to remove excess glue and I got a little too aggressive and the eye went sliding out underneath the dog. Now I'm gonna add some eyelashes with a fine tip black pin to really make this little face so super cute and fun. And then of course that white pin like I mentioned a minute ago to add some little white dots. So the majority of our design is ready to go. That little tennis ball how cute is that? I inked it with a little mowed lawn, just barely, and glued it with a glue dot. I'm going to remove the score tape now from the sides of the box and from the bottom of one of the boxes. This is going to secure it on the bottom and on the sides. And then I'm simply going to fit the two sides of the box together to build this adorable little dog house. Look how cute that is. So I did go ahead and stamp off camera. That was an accident off camera, by the way. I meant to have my camera on and something happened. But the dog bone I stamped with sentiments from the Reveal Wheel Sentiments stamp set. Um, and then I'm gonna tie that to my doghouse with some twine. Easily to, easy to remove so the recipient can open up that doghouse and see what's inside. Used a combination of black, ink and Lawn Fawn Chili Pepper ink to customize that. And then I one extra little thing that I did was take some Honey Bee Stamps Candy Hearts in white and I'm gonna glue those to my box. A couple of them kind of coming up from the puppy and one up on the roof. I thought it would be a fun little additional embellishment to finish off this adorable little goodie treat box featuring these awesome new scallop treat box dog house add-on dies from Lawn Fawn. And then like I mentioned earlier, that remaining dog bone there, I'm gonna use it to adorn the back of the house and I'm gonna use a little liquid glue to just glue that down in place to finish it off. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this 3D project featuring Lawn Fawn dies. The supplies I used to create this box are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.